just heard your voice, I said, and I'm thinking in my head, man, you have got to be something to do with the gingerbread. Yes, I am. Okay. I'm the voice of Gingy, which is basically a puppet. I have three Gingy puppets. You first see Gingy, um, and I'm, I'm behind a box. I control the mouth, and the girl who plays the ugly duckling actually controls the eyes and the hands and the eyebrows. Now, and that's something that you have to get down to. Like Adam was saying with this makeup, you get that down yes. to a routine. You really must have to get that down. Yes, I start at the top of the show. I start with um, the sugar plum makeup, which is basically a lot of glitter. Yeah. And then I change into Duloc, and then I go into a Teen Fiona look, and then I have I haven't been able to stop. I believe, I believe, I believe, believe. You know, that's just the best. I might like Pop Um Sorry. I'm channeling Eddie Murphy. Uh, Skyler Midget, really? Skyler? Yeah. Midget? Yes. It's your last name. It's, it's actually a, my last name. <laughs> okay, that's a cute name. And Adam Steiner. Hello there. How are you? I'm excellent, Adam. How are you? Good, good, good. Get a little closer to that oh, microphone. Of course, please. So, now, now, okay, I'll start with you, Adam. What do you play in the play? I uh, play uh, Papa Ogre, Shrek's dad, in, uh -huh. the, in the beginning. Uh, it's not really a part in the movie. They kind of wrote it mm -hmm. for uh, the musical to okay. introduce the character. And then uh, I go on, and then I play the uh, big bad wolf throughout the rest oh, of the show. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So you got you got to flip costumes and stuff. Right? Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that's the biggest thing in the show, I would say, uh, is, is is costume changes. You know, that's mm -hmm. predominantly, I think, uh, we spend more time changing costumes than we do on stage because we just are running <laughs> off, changing clothes, running back on <laughs> over and over and over, but it's great. It's I bet it is. And Skylar, you are? I start as the Sugar Plum Fairy, mm -hmm. and then I play the teenage Fiona and the voice of Gingy the Gingerbread Cookie. Oh. Is that the one that says the Muffin Man? Yes. <laughs> uh, can we hear your version of it? Do you know the Muffin Man? Whatever way it is, I don't remember. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> That's great. I saw it on Broadway a couple years ago, and it is—it's a fun play. It is—it's great for you know everybody, no matter what age group you are. It's very cool because you know little kids are going to love it because they've probably seen the movie, and it is a little different than the movie. I mean, you have to change a few things. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a, a mixture of the first and a little bit of the second. You know, mm -hmm. just kind of round the arc of the story. It's clever, it's clever, it's clever. Too, clever. That it, it lends itself to a lot of those moments, um, you know, those magic moments that you leave the theater trying to figure out how they did, you know. And I think it is important, too, with the cleverness of it, that uh, it really, um, it's a great show for adults, too, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of humor that goes right over the kids' heads, and it's so mm -hmm. fun watching, uh, you know, the few people we can see in the audience, just watching parents cracking up and, you know, the kids missing it completely. Yeah, yeah. But it's just, like the movie, they do <laughs> like a good the movie, job you got to do that because, yeah. you, know, then, you know, we have to take our kids, you know, to these movies, and they better put something in there for us. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a tradition going back to, I think, Bugs Bunny and Popeye. And, oh, yeah. You know, the stuff back on, in the old days on television, the same, same thing. So, uh, Skylar Midget, I just love your name. Where are you from? I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Oh, that's one of my favorite places on earth. Mm. <laughs> I, I really, really, as I have friends down there, and I, in the Tidewater area, I just love that area. So, do you, do you get to go back at all? You got to be traveling around a lot with the show, and you don't get to see Yeah, we've been, we started in August, and we've been traveling since. We did have a Christmas layoff, so I got to go home mm -hmm. and be with my family. But I have to ask you, how old are you? I'm 20. Okay, because I was thinking younger. <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know. That's okay. She <laughs> had the voice for Ginger. I know. It's unbelievable. So, and uh, and how about you, Adam? You're from you're from uh, from Detroit. Yes, sir. So, I mean, you're probably glad to be out of there right now. I know. <laughs> I was born in Detroit. I was gonna say, come Represent. on. Represent. Detroit's the new Brooklyn. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, but it's it's. Methodist.